Brian O'Bannon of Morton Buildings, and this is another edition of Morton Moments, and I want to take this moment to talk to you about something that somebody really needs to know, and that is metal thickness. Now, the reason behind this video is I had a salesman call me up in the southern area, more down by Colorado, and he said, hey, I've given the spec sheet, I've given the, the technical uh, sheet, I've given the company literature the insurance adjuster does not believe our metal thickness so here we are going to do a video in real time i am one-handed so you have to understand that but i do not want to stop this video because i do not want you to think that i'm editing it i do not want you to think i'm cheating at all so here we go what do we have for samples well first of all we have this sample right here at the morton building sample with our evergreen on the side which by the way you can see it's nice and satin this was subjected to an accelerator accelerated 10-year uv uh, ray basically sitting in the sun type test you can see it worked out really good this is a fabrol sample which is cleary buildings and was also subjected to that same test and you can see here faded in fact you used to be able to take your finger and wipe off green but too many people have wiped it it's now clean off all right moving back over here to our next sample this is a hardware store building sample menards building blow door and lumber pretty much any hardware store building package is going to give you this metal right here and of course a larger wainscot piece by morton buildings right over here i wanted to show you that not only are we using just little cut pieces of metal but we're using the real thing and the reason why we have these available here at the shop is because 90% of all your building damage is going to happen at the lower three feet, right? And so you're going to have horses kicking down there, lawnmowers running into it, cars bumping into it. So we keep some of this stuff and some colors on hand so that when that happens, people can come in and buy that and replace it real easy. All righty. Let's talk next about our measuring devices. So I have a mechanical micrometer here let's take a look at it okay there we go bouncing it back and forth right there we are set to zero let's go ahead and put it over here while we're doing this again i'm doing this one-handed so you have to understand that putting it down here bang got it set let's go take a look at the measurement what do we got so we're at 0 0.020 and a half, almost 21 thousandths. So 20 and a half thousandths is where we are at. All right. So let's make sure that we confirm that. How are we going to do that? There we go. See this digital micrometer. Let's zero it. Let's zero it. I'm one handed here. There we go there we go we got it all right so let's get over here and double check that we had 20 and a half thousandths i think is what it was and there it is right there 0 0.0255 is the best one i got all right almost so it's very close very 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 close within plus or minus a thousandths basically now let's come over here to the hardware store and again, you have to remember that there's paint that we have to accommodate for as well. So you've got paint on here. So when you actually want to know the exact metal thickness, we've got to, you know, we've got to actually grind off the paint, but we're not going to do that here. So uh, 16 thousandths here and over here, 20 and a half to 21 thousandths. Again, with paint on. So just to give you an idea. All righty, let's come over here morton building sample i'm gonna kind of try to do this here uh let's see if i can do this one-handed whoa almost bring it out a little bit i don't want to get on that label okay so i'm not on the label although i'm on the marker where we at there it is right there at about twenty-two thousand. so just a half a thousand uh thicker than this sample over here again i bet you that's paint i bet you what that is here we go with the fabrol sample right here let's try this one and oh trying to get a hold of it 
Again, one-handed here. There we, <laughs> almost had it. I'm really sorry about this, but it's just one-handed and it's tough to do. There we go. Gotcha. All right. And we don't have, I'm not on the label. And I'm at 17,000. So it's about the same as this sample over here. Okay. So now you can see clearly, and I didn't edit the video. I didn't stop the video. We're talking about metal thickness. We are what we say we are. Now, here we go. Check this out. Ready? So Fabrol, right? Here we go. Did you hear that? And here's Morton Buildings. Oh, you heard that. Yeah, that's metal there. Okay, let's go over here to the hardware store. You hear that difference right there? Now let's walk over here to this one. Ready? So yeah, you can certainly hear the... Oh boy, <laughs> my uh, micrometer didn't fly off. Oh darn. I guess I got it on there good. All right, so my whole point to this is, is you can see and you can hear the difference in the Morton quality. So when you're looking for quality, when you're looking for the thicker metal, when you're looking for the better paint, take a look at that, you want Morton. Morton, no doubt you bet. Like, subscribe, and run thumbs up. Keep coming back, because we always got more for you.